All right, now we're off to Pomona, Bracket Field. I went to college at Pomona, Cal Poly Pomona, and played basketball there. And every year we would do our final day of conditioning at Bracket Field. There's a little hill just off the runway. Well, that's, I think it's an uh, antenna, a little access road. And it's about, mm, I don't know, half mile, quarter mile, somewhere around there. Um, straight up, little dog leg to the left. People puked every year. So Bracket Field, we'd call it Bracket Hill, is like gives me chills up my spine, um, like even to this day. So now being into aviation and having the association of Bracket Field be a positive because it's an airport has been hard to shake. So what I'm gonna wanna do is check out Cal Poly um, and then make our way up to the airport and check out check out Cal Poly or <laughs> check out Bracket Field and Cable, which is neighboring, it's an untowered field um, next to Bracket. Both are great airports, uh, very pretty with the mountains in the background. Let's see how they look here. I'm excited to see what Cal Poly Pomona looks like as well. Um, but we're on pilot edge and we're gonna be inside the Delta. So I need to go to uh, Pomona Tower. Bracket Tower is 18.2. So we're gonna do a little bit, a little bit of a tour here and then come back in since we're in the Delta. So there's Bracket, Bracket Tower. <clears throat> bracket Tower, good evening, Aerobat 204 Lima Echo, about eight miles to the west over the 10 freeway with the request. 204 Lima Echo, Bracket Tower. <laughs> bracket Tower, Aerobat 204 Lima Echo. We have information Zulu. We'd like to do a little bit of a uh, a lap around Cal Poly Pomona just to the south in your airspace and then do a full stop taxi back um, if uh, that works. My 204 Lima Echo, you can maneuver south the airfield, remain south around my 26 left extended center line at all times and let me know when you'd like to come in. I will stay south of the extended center line for runway 26 left and we'll let you know when we're inbound with information Zulu Aerobat 204 Lima Echo, thanks. We're right over the 10 the 10 freeway. Uh, what's up, Ariel? <laughs> Happy, uh, what, what, what is today? Tuesday? Happy Tuesday? Um, you know what, Dennis? Uh, Raging Waters is definitely there, I would imagine, but I tried to fly over it before. So this is West Covina, right here. Clearance. There's the uh, IKEA, West Covina Mall. God, I just like so many memories here. Friend worked at TJ Fridays there. Uh, we bought a bunch of furniture probably that we still have at that IKEA. Um, but let's let's check it out. Um, Avalars, thank you very much, man. For, uh, for hanging out tonight. Have yeah, a great night. Yeah, Wells Fargo, Hooters, Fletcher Jones, Mercedes. No, not Fletcher Jones. Penske. Penske. Um, Mercedes. Yeah, this, this is the stomping grounds right here. And also, not too far from my previous employer, Newegg, which. Uh, Tactile Cool Dennis was also Alright, so let's see if we can spot the CLA building. It's a very unique looking building. Uh, Cal Poly Pomona has one of the largest, um, like in terms of acreage, footprint of any college. It's huge. The amount of actual Monica, property that they have is, is unbelievable. Uh, you used to work on the 2107 intersection. That's hilarious. Yeah. So did Julia. Yeah, so here's Cal Poly Pomona. There's the CLA building. It looks terrible. Uh, that little like horseshoe shaped building in the middle right there, that is the stables. There is the new rec center. There's Kellogg Gym, Kellogg Arena, with 
uh, just to the north, or you know, straight up from the tennis courts. So that looks cool. There's the library in the middle. It seems like a little low fidelity, but everything is there. There's the Collins School right in the middle. That's where Julia got her degree from. Um, there's the field where the the pumpkin patches every year. I can't remember what that's called. Okay, all those red roofs right there, that's the village. And that, we lived there for a year and it was terrible. <laughs> Our apartment, our room was overlooking this trailer park, so we heard a lot of uh, a lot of fun stuff. There. This is this is really cool. This is where the sim tr goes from being a flight simulator, uh, lacking in a lot of uh, big aspects, to being just a fun. Uh, piece of technology. This is really cool. Yeah, so let's see. Got the baseball field. Oh, yeah, there's the gym. So that, I didn't actually realize that there was solar panels on the top of that. The CLA building is kind of starting to come into shape there. It's that weird triangle looking thing just right in the middle of the screen. It's, I think they're tearing that down too. And then we're gonna come up to the to the dorms where Julia and I met, which is pretty funny. Yeah, is Area 51 blurred out? It shouldn't be. West Covina, crazy ex-girlfriend. Number 172, Whiskey Delta, Santa Maria Tower, runway three. Yeah, so there there are the dorms. That's where Julia and I met. There, those kind of long-looking buildings. Right on the freeway. That's wild. Yeah, that that is pretty. That's pretty cool. So there is Cal Poly Pomona, and that's 57, which goes down. When you take the 57 uh, all the way down there, it turns into the 60, and all those big buildings out there. Uh, that's where Newegg is, and the 57 goes out over where we are now in Orange County. Number four, Golf Bravo, sir, you're right, heading 250, contact so kind of part. Okay, right turn 250. Yeah, we're going to be right, we're going to go right over Fairplex, Dennis. Bracket Tower, Aerobat 204, Lima Echo, inbound information, Zulu. 204, Lima Echo, enter left, downwind, runway 26 left, clear to land. Left, downwind, 26 left, Aerobat 204, Lima Echo. Four Lima Echo, just verified, clear to land, runway 26 left. Yeah, clear to land, 26 left, Airbat 204, Lima Echo. Took out departure, 914. Let's see, where's Raging Water? Somewhere over there. Um, that's Via Verde right there. I used, I worked there in the off season. That's kind of cool looking. Uh, that first hole, I drove that first hole. That's a par four. I hit the green. That was pretty fun. And then here is the hill from hell, Bracket Hill. It's going to look so puny from up here, but God, trust me, going up and down that thing 12 times was a nightmare. November Ground, Normal. Let's see if I can spot it here. Okay. It's going to be... I can just see it now. Okay, there it, there it is. It's right by that beacon. That little... Um, that little kinked road that kind of goes... That dead ends there. Right in the middle. That's the hill. Doesn't look like much from up here, but trust me, when you're standing at the bottom of that looking up, it is a freaking nightmare. Uh, APR. Um, I used to actually sell APR stuff, and I thought they were in. Um, I didn't realize that they were actually in Pomona. That was when I was working in Temecula. I thought they their headquarters are in like somewhere in the west or the east coast somewhere, like Atlanta. They might have like a west coast division out here, but here's the Fairplex, and that looks incredible. 
from this altitude, that looks really, really, really good. You can actually see the uh, the building here that says Fairplex. Wow, that looks so good. Oh, that looks so good. Yeah, there's the drag strip, the fairgrounds right there. Man, that looks so awesome. Now we're kind of pointing towards Claremont. Oh, that looks so good. That is, that is wild. That is really wild. I don't know why, it's just, you know, because it's not super dense with trees or funky looking buildings that can make it look goofy, I think it makes it look better. But that, that looks incredible, man. Uh, Chart A, thank you very much for uh, for following. Welcome, welcome aboard. Got a little bit of a stream chug there. I'll get that Short fixed. Long train clear. Good evening, Walker 159. I have heard of that for wind sector. Airport not in current route. Airport not in current route says four. Walker 169. Palm Springs clear. Hello, clear to the Denver Airport Cathedral. Water departure. Palm Springs S file. Yeah, Main dude, this this looks just like bracket. Company. That's so cool. Oh my god, it looks so good. Clear to the Denver International Airport, Cathedral One Departure, Palm Springs Transition, then as the, the danger of going in the outside view. I wanted to get a nice touchdown shot. Like so off center line. So the the buildings and trees and everything on the uh, the north side of the airport look like garbage. Is this Delta or Echo? Bracket Tower, Aerobat, two zero four Lima Echo, clear two six left at Delta Taxi Back. Uh, two zero four Lima Echo, and my two six left taxi via Sierra Alpha. Sierra Alpha 26 left, Aerobat 204 Lima Echo. First ride into Cessna was that bracket. That's awesome. Yeah, so how does it look? <laughs> Looks nothing like it. Like the restaurant. Restaurant is not there. Uh, that's just a generic building where the restaurant is. There is no tower yet again. Uh, these hangars are just generic buildings like warehouses not actual hangars because I would like to see an airplane try to get into those doors so that looks really bad uh, golf course is there my just Tower, seven, Romeo, Fox, bracket five, hill is clear. there um, the uh, infield grass eight. looks good whatever is happening on the uh, other uh, side uh, of the uh, airport uh, is really weird that looks, that looks terrible. Yeah, I don't know why they put warehouses instead of hangars. Like, just flammable and kaboom. Great. Yeah, it, it's, they're just straight out warehouses, like docking bays, instead of hangers like I, I don't understand how they even think that's it I don't know that doesn't make any sense to me uh, yeah so this is the approach looked really good that looked awesome the approach everything Cal Poly Pomona looked great uh, once we're on the field here across the street looks terrible I mean, you can see something funky's happening I mean you've got like images of cars on the side of whatever the hell that thing is trying to build so it's freaking out over something right there because it's clearly just a curb and that's the end of the taxiway so i yeah i don't know what what they're what's happening on that side of the airport but the lack of tower again uh, at a delta airport uh, Fairplex looks good. Approaching runway. At least it did left. on on final. That looked good. Cal Poly looked good. Um, 
the the amount of warehouses instead of hangars and the lack of tower, I'm, I got to give it a B plus. Um, yeah, I've got it downloaded. Everything is downloaded. Downloading only helps load it quicker. It doesn't help um, make it higher fidelity or better detail. So if you cache, if you pre-cache everything, it'll load quicker, but it doesn't change what it's actually loading. And that's come up uh, a number of times, and that seems to be a common misconception. So this, if you load up whether you're you're cached or not, which this is all cached, um, it's going to look, or you know, it's likely to look like that, which is very very disappointing. I just need a 3090. Dennis, I don't even know if a 3090 is going to fix that problem, but yes, I do. <laughs> Need. Would like. Alright, we're going to go to cable. We'll let this, uh, this clearance happen here. CTAF is 230. Was there a YouTube video that says if you if you cash it it'll look it'll magically look better? <laughs> hey bird uh, Ring police, thank you so much for eight months. I appreciate that, man. Uh, thank you so much, sir. Cheers. Bracket Tower, Aerobat, 204, Lima Echo, holding short, runway 26 left. We're going to be departing to the east inbound for cable. Uh, we, we're fine with 26 left or 26 right, whatever's easier for you. Have a great night, Dennis. Lima Echo, Bracket Tower, left down with departure approved, runway 26 left, clear for takeoff. Left downwind departure approved, 26 left, clear for takeoff, Aerobat 204, Lima Echo, thank you. Clear to the right, clear to the left, lights are coming on, camera, Approaching and left. action. We still have the same beacon code, so they've kept up Entered on the same beacon code, left. even though we said squawk via far for you to change approved, remaining. and I ignored that and kept the beacon code. What else did you ignore that day? Ariel, thank you so much, man, for the bits. Um, get those kids to sleep quick. <laughs> yeah, the San Diego area, we definitely need to tour the San Diego area for sure. I need some Gillespie action, I need some Montgomery action. Yeah. It's quite heavy. Ring police. There's the, there it is right there. There's the hill. Right there. Oh, 12 times up and down that thing. Go F yourself. Oh. I do need to see a therapist. I have PTSD for that friggin' hill. Yeah, no, Dude, do you want to run up that thing 12 times in August? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know. Well, I wasn't one of the ones that puked, but... <laughs> uh, yeah. Palomar, Joe Buck, we have... Or John Buck, sorry. Joe Buck. Uh, Palomar, there is an update um, from a member of the community, which is fantastic. Uh, but yeah, Palomar, Montgomery, Gillespie, San Diego itself, Brown. Uh, we'll definitely make our way down there. I love I love all those airports. Uh, 1660, the I-5 is what's killing you. Yeah, the I-5 is what's, what's hurting you there, unfortunately. 1660 should be fine, because I think the 1660 is a little bit better even than the, the 1060. But... Um, yeah, okay, so what would we give uh, Bracket a D plus? No tower. What? I don't get the no tower. And obviously, those little red things are trees that it's trying to render. So from up here, they look like trees, but they did not work out great uh, on the ground. So yeah, B, uh, D minus, D plus, what I say? D plus? I don't know. We're not really keeping score. D plus, that's 
and that's fine. Oh, what's up, JoJo? i7 6700K. Yeah, so the 6th and 7th gen Intel CPUs are all not great, uh, whether it's an i5 or an i7. Uh, but the i5, even up through the 8th generation, I think, is is also going to be pretty pretty rough. Um, let's see. Opera ND01. How did, did I get that right? Operand? Operand. I feel like Opera ND feels pretty good. Uh, there's going to be a big update soon Perfect. that adds towers everywhere. Dude, I hope so. I really hope so. The, t uh, the lack of towers is, seems, seems crazy. Cable. Uh, bracket tower, Aerobat 204 Lima Echo. Request frequency change for cable. November 204, Lima Echo, frequency change for Vermont outside the Ontario Charlie. We'll stay out of the Charlie, Aerobat 204, Lima Echo. Thanks. See ya. See ya. So, uh, uh, cable traffic, Aerobat 204, Lima Echo, entering a r left downwind runway 24, full stop taxi back cable. So, this airport is really simple. It's a non towered airport, um, but it's. Claremont, first of all, Claremont is a very pretty area uh, for being in the Inland Empire. That, I believe, is the Claremont Colleges. Um, the, those are expensive colleges right there. Julia, do you remember the Claremont Colleges names? You got Scripps, Pomona, and Claremont McKenna. That's right. Yeah, Claremont McKenna. Okay. That's right. I earmuffs Julia dated a couple of girls from two colleges. <laughs> there, freshman year. One, I th was uh, literally a rocket scientist. That one didn't last very long. <laughs> Shut up, Julia. Uh, cable traffic, Aerobat 204, Lima Echo. Midfield, left downwind, runway 24, cable. But I, I flew into here uh, to get really cheap gas one time, and it is it's a very rough feeling airport. Uh, there's a, a big um, covered parking area that is basically all boats and RVs. There's really not even that many airplanes there. I doubt that will be the case. It'll probably be some kind of warehouse. Uh, cable traffic, Airbat 204, Lemeco, left base runway 24, full stop, taxi back, cable. But yeah, this this looks great, um, this approach. I mean, again, this is what is, is really saving these sceneries, is how good these approaches look and feel. Cable traffic, Airbat 204, Lemeco, final runway 24, full stop, taxi back, cable. I think... I'm pretty sure that Claremont McKenna was 24. like the super nerd one, I think. Oh yeah, dude, this looks this looks just like it. So the whole this whole north side of the airport is all flat, and that is kind of a bummer. Very similar to Santa Paula, and this runway is apparently closed. Okay, we might have our very first F. Oh, this is bullcrap. Oh, Cable, you suck, dude. Uh, a little bit of a bounce. Okay, so this is apparently closed. This runway is closed. There are no hangars anywhere at all. Is the fuel even in the right spot? I doubt the fuel is even in the right spot. Fuel is not in the right spot. Holy freaking crap, this is garbage. Ladies and gentlemen, after... Crap, how many airports have we done so far? Uh, this is our first failure. <laughs> this is an F. This looks like friggin' garbage, and we're dead. What is that? 
That means nothing. These hold short lines, there's like two of them in there. The runway is closed. There are no hangars anywhere. There's a bus on the ramp. What the frick? F. Cable airport. Boo. It looked great on approach, but boo. Multiple hold short. Yeah, okay, so what I said before is that the only way that an airport's gonna fail is if the runway is either like not there or the wrong number or something. This is closed. Mother effer, I've been there, dude. It is not closed. I'm not even gonna do like a little, hey, let's check out everything. Like this is, this is garbage. There's some kind of cool buildings here. Head in the clouds, I agree. Yeah, this is don't go to cable. Dead again on that taxiway light. So this is like extra, dude, if, if I was based out of cable and I loaded up on this simulator and was like super excited and ready to go and loaded up to this, I would, I would go to Mercer Island, find Bill Gates and punch him right in the balls. This is so stupid. The mountains look great, though. That's why it gets an F+. Plus. Flying Mercury. That is a... That... I get it. I get you can't do every airport. Um, but... But what are they... The, the, what data are they pulling from? That's the part... Like I am, I will give the benefit of the doubt as much as possible. But the fact that it's somehow pulling data for this airport that's clearly been doubled for some reason, like all the hold short lines are doubled. Um, the runway is closed and I, and that like, so what did they pull? What data did they pull that, that closed this runway? And the fact that you're supposed to have, uh, I think that, I mean, that looks really good. Which is what, which is boggles my mind is that you can have the quarry look friggin' real. You take a screenshot of that and send that to somebody that lives in Claremont. They'd be like, oh, cool. Did you fly a drone over the quarry next to the cable? No, bitch. This is flight simulator and look at how crappy this airport looks. Um, you can see here too that that oh, little overhang, that rusted building, is what that overhang is. I like. What are they pulling from? That's those are clearly um, hangers and you know overhangs. I was expecting something there, but for this to be fully flat, I don't I don't know what data they're pulling from. Which that is what bothers me. It's not the fact that it looks the way it does. It's the fact that they're pulling from whatever source that's so out of whack that an airport that, to my knowledge, has never been closed like this is showing us closed. I... Dude, dude F, F, F. Just an F. I don't... Julia, I don't know, man. This, that's that's sad. That saddens me. <laughs> this is a paid beta. That's true. They never expected anybody to fly into cable. That is very dismissive, Vatsim. That is, that is offensive to all those that fly out of, L, uh, um, Claremont. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's good. of course it's not closed. Uh, I don't know where they got that from. My home airport has that his um, that has historically had an issue with the runway data being offset from the actual runway is closed. I suspect they close runways with conflicting data issues. I mean, it's in the same spot. I mean, everything else looks great. I don't know. <laughs> it's just. 
That's that's horrible. That is extra horrible. Um, okay, I I have to. I have been terrible at um, tactile dehydration. So I'm gonna we're gonna leave this thing chilling here for it for just a second, and I will be I will be right after these messages. I'll be right back. Nobody knows what that's from because you guys are babies. <laughs> <laughs> 